Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, March 28th. Safety only in obedience. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. 1 Peter 3 verse 12 No man is safe for a day or an hour without prayer. Especially should we entreat the Lord for wisdom to understand his word. Here are revealed the wiles of the tempter and the means by which he may be successfully resisted. Satan is an expert in quoting scripture, placing his own interpretation upon passages by which he hopes to cause us to stumble. We should study the Bible with humility of heart, never losing sight of our dependence upon God. While we must constantly guard against the devices of Satan, we should pray in faith continually, lead us not into temptation. When Balaam, allured by the promise of rich rewards, practiced enchantments against Israel and by sacrifices to the Lord, sought to invoke a curse upon his people, the Spirit of God forbade the evil which he longed to pronounce, and Balaam was forced to exclaim, How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? The people of Israel were at this time loyal to God, and so long as they continued in obedience to his law, no power in earth or hell could prevail against them. But the curse which Balaam had not been permitted to pronounce against God's people, he finally succeeded in bringing upon them by seducing them into sin. When they transgressed God's commandment, then they separated themselves from him, and they were left to feel the power of the destroyer. Satan is well aware that the weakest soul who abides in Christ is more than a match for the host of darkness. Only in humble reliance upon God and obedience to all his commandments can we be secure. Let none deceive themselves with the belief that God will pardon and bless them while they are trampling upon one of his requirements. The willful commission of a known sin silences the witness voice of the Spirit and separates the soul from God. Our Father cares, March 28th.